Okay, so in the last video, I mistakenly called him a... Uh, I thought he was Vankard from, from Xenogears and Xenoblade. Losing Nelson's team is a Name real similar, blow. but not the same guy. But the fact we're not the only visitors on this rock is even worse. They made it clear they want all humans dead. For all we know, they may be related to the forces that destroyed Earth and followed us here. Wonderful. I'll report this to Secretary Nagi. See if we can't bolster our defenses. Just one last thing. What the bloody hell is this dancing I clearly thought he was about to say, what the fuck is this dancing turnip doing potato. here? Tatsu not turnip or potato. For last time, Tatsu is not food. Now, on behalf of Planet Mira, Tatsu welcome all Earth people and offer a friendly treaty of friendship. Um, yeah, right. Anyway, we were thinking he could be a good source of general intel about the planet. Exactly how useful that'll be remains to be seen. Oh, don't you worry about a thing. Friend's totally safe now that Tatsu is in town. Right, Tatsu, watch sure. over and protect friends. Especially weak, pathetic Lindley with her thin, bony wings. Lindley will eat you. In my arms. Look who's talking. And who said anything about you coming with us? You can stay here, you greedy, annoying little cabbage. Ooh. I'm sure there's a salad here that could use you. <laughs> Tatsu, stay here. But friends would leave Tatsu behind? It's for the best. You said yourself your people are endangered, and the Xenos that captured you might still be out there. You'll be safest here in the city. Mm, agreed. Tatsu not agreed? Friends will want Tatsu along. Friends need Tatsu along. Actually, we only need your follow ball. What? Well, this guy's not Ricky. That, of course. This planet have many helpful Nopon that Tatsu can talk to. Other Nopon can share information for friends. Hmm, that might be useful. That right, that right. Most Nopon not like Tatsu. Nopon can be shy. Nopon can be difficult. Most Nopon never trust friends or even talk to friends. But Tatsu? Nopon love Tatsu. Tatsu use smooth talk and winning personality to get friends good at <sighs> Hmm, the tater tot has a point. Uh-huh, more like an ulterior motive if you ask me. Tatsu perish the thought. Tatsu intentions are pure, Linley. Yeah, pure, pure bullshit. No. Pure as piss. intimidated by Tatsu's strength and smarts, but do not worry, Tatsu is true friend. Strength and If you can't tell, the Nopons use the word friend pretty loosely. Alright, then it's settled. Small fry here will accompany the out in the field. But it's After just an all, act. we can use all the info we can get. Seriously? We have to babysit this thing? You're the ones who picked him up. Besides, would you really want to leave him with another team? Maybe not. Unless we were invited to the meal, I mean. See? Tatsu is the worst like dab ever. Parents. He can be your charge, man. Oh, come on, Commander! That's not funny! I've got my hands full out there! This is so unfair. Back me up here, would you, Elma? I'm sure Elma has no objections. Right. As you say, Commander. Done and done. Welcome to Blade, Tater. We'll be counting on you. Yes, sir! And it's a Tatsu. Oh, one thing Tatsu forgot to mention. Nopon are pacifists, so friends need to defend Tatsu. Keep extra super safe in any battle. Like I said, Tatsu, he doesn't battle. VIP diplomat, after all. Why am I not surprised? So much for him watching over and protecting us. <sighs> you see that tower right there? Pay attention to that later, guys.
So, Rook, feel like you're starting to get the hang of things? Eh. I got my ass whooped out there, but more or less. Of course you are. You've taken to it like a fish to water, just like Elma and the Commander said you would. Just the same, let's review the key points, and I can fill in some extra details. Blade's top priority right now is to secure missing pieces of the lifehold. You remember that much. Countless people are frozen in the lifehold. It's the key to restoring humanity. Up until we ran into the prone, our biggest concern was that wild indigents would stumble on the lifehold and damage it somehow. But now there's a more pressing threat. Intelligent alien races who are intentionally trying to destroy us. So, our search has new urgency. We need to find and retrieve all of the lifehold ASAP. And the best way to do that is by expanding the reach of Frontier Nav. The more probes we can install, the wider we can scan, and the faster we can find bits of the lifehold. So our primary focus going forward should be to travel around Mira installing data probes. As many as we can, as fast as we can. I can't stress enough how important this is. You still with me? Kinda don't have a choice. Good. Then let's move on to the other pressing threat that Blade has to deal with. Hostile indigens. There's no real delicate way to put this. Any wildlife that poses a clear threat must be eliminated. The life hold is our future, but we can't ignore the present. We still have our duty to keep New L.A. safe. And sometimes that duty requires enacting coordinated strikes to solve problems before they can do real harm. We are the newcomers here, it's true. And they're usually just out to defend their territory. But sometimes it really is them or us. And we have to make sure it's us. Every time. Don't get me wrong. It's not like we run out there and light up anything that moves. If I could, I would. HQ can choose targets, and they tend to keep them strictly to creatures that pose a significant threat to our survival. In order to contribute to this cause, operatives are asked to form into squads to take on special missions. These squad missions, as we call them, don't get posted to mission control like your other, more typical assignments. Rather, HQ transmits the details directly to all of us at the same time. Basically, they want as many people to know about them ASAP, so they can be taken care of ASAP. I'm sure you can imagine that these missions aren't your run-of-the-mill little fetch quests. It's not the kind of stuff just one or two blades could handle on their own. That's why squads can have as many as 32 members. And it's why we ask members to sign up to a squad beforehand. We can't have Blades playing musical chairs whenever this kind of emergency hits us. But just remember, squad missions are not mandatory. You don't have to drop everything you're doing just to take one off. HQ has no way of knowing what every blade is up to when these missions arrive. Yeah, what she's talking about something else. They'll understand. It's the online mode. That's not mandatory need at all. To trust our collective judgment with these things. Well, so far so good. And I think that about covers the basics, right? Search for the missing pieces of the life. Install data probes to expand frontier now. Take on squad missions when you can to keep us safe. Got all that? Yeah, yeah. Good. We're counting on you. And briefing adjourned. Thank God. I feel like that's something I'm going to be saying a lot during this playthrough. It's over. Thank God.
<laughs> All right, well, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? Yeah, let's call it a night. Oh, Tatsu's so excited to sleep in real bed. Yeah, not a trash can full of potatoes. Lily can show Tatsu to his room now. Ah, he just don't give a oh, shit. Your room is right over there. Oh, it the perfect size for Tatsu. Wait, what? Tatsu know what that is? That refrigerator. <laughs> refrigerator. Oh man, it's priceless. Well, Tatsu not want to brag, but. Oh my gosh, you moron. Tatsu see what Lily did there. Okay. Now, all of this is basically finding missions and how to team up with people online. You can also edit your greeting, you know, what your avatar says to other people online before they pick them up. Dude, too late. Already made the class upgrade. Alright, so now we're officially at the point in the game where you get more freedom. This is for basically single player. Um, this is just squads for your friends who, who have the game as well. The Conquest squads are the squads that they were talking about during the cutscene. These are the ones that you're going to want to do if you want to go out and take out bigger enemies that you can't take out by yourself. They usually yield like really good rewards, but right now... I just want to find a life out. When you get new characters that are permanently in your party, you'll get this sign. They tell you what division, what you know they are, what class they are. Give you a brief little bio of who they are in their battle style, and every character has a signature art. And it's kind of like uh, I hate to bring it up, but it's kind of like Persona. You you get close with a character and you learn their signature skill or they do a specific thing for you. So you kind of want to get to know as many different characters in this game as you can. Max out your affinity and, you know, get whatever signature art you can from them. But I'm tired. I'm, I'm going to have to go level up and try to edit all of this stuff. So... I'm going to end the video here. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you next time.